an editing internship. This is my setup. the internet good morning and welcome or welcome back to another video my name is Clarice if you're new here and it is great to have you around today's vlog is going to be just like a productive day in the life I'm gonna be bringing you along and kind of focusing on showing you guys what a day in the life of like a content creator might look like because I am making videos but I'm also like going to school full-time so having to juggle that is kind of tricky and since I don't have any classes on Wednesdays this semester I decided it would be kind of like my day to focus more on content, on filming, and all those amazing things. So yeah, that is I guess going to be the focus of this vlog, but we'll see. I have so many things I want to get done today. When I woke up this morning, it was so like gray and just like kind of ew when you looked outside the window, but now it's snowing, so that makes me very happy. It also has gotten brighter, which is good because I want to film later today. It's already 8 a.m. I've been trying to wake up at 7, but today I just woke up at 7.30 because I went to bed pretty late last night. What I've been doing is I put my phone across the room, which is so brutal. Like, people tell you to do that, and I knew it was going to be difficult, but it's like a whole other level of discipline that I need to get used to because I just noticed I was getting really distracted going on my phone before bed and first in the morning and it's like really not good for your brain to do that anyways i've been rambling i'm gonna make some breakfast right now i'm in the comfiest pajama set and as much as i love it i'm probably gonna change because i don't want to get it dirty because i do love it so much i'm gonna make some tea probably make some breakfast and start looking at what i have to do today because as i said it's gonna be a pretty busy day and i'm just staying home for most of it so yeah i hope that you enjoy it's great to have you around and let's get right into it Show you guys because i think it's really funny i have my water my green smoothie and my green tea all in like different chamberlain coffee mugs and i don't know why that's so funny to me this is not sponsored but honestly i feel like it should be at this point i love to make myself like smoothies whenever i'm working from home especially because i can just drink them while i get work done i did try a new recipe today i'm kind of worried about because this has kale in it and the last time I had a kale smoothie, it was like a traumatic experience at the age of like 10 where <laughs> I had like a family brunch and I didn't know what kale was and so I just like ordered a kale smoothie and it tasted like seaweed, it tasted like grass, it was not good, it was not a pleasant experience but it's been a couple of years now so I'm willing to give it a try Hmm. She's a little chunky, which it's not the best, but honestly, it's not that bad. Anyways, I'm gonna sip on that and look at my to-do list for the day. I actually am calling my sister in about like 15 minutes because she's currently on semester abroad in Edinburgh and I am going to go visit her later this semester. So we have to like kind of plan what we're gonna do and it's been really hard to find a time to do that with the time zones and everything. So now that we finally are both available, we're gonna try to plan that trip a little bit. <laughs>
right, so a bit of an update. I have basically been sitting here for the past three hours um, and I've been quite productive, so at least there's that. But yeah, that's the reality of just like working from home. I honestly don't really move that much, but I'm hoping to go on a walk later. But yeah, as I mentioned, um, I FaceTimed my sister and we kind of just like wrote down a list of all the places that we'd want to visit in London and Edinburgh. And then when I was done with that, I like basically cleared my inbox. I hate having emails. So I like deleted anything that was like spam or any promotions. And I also got back to a few people for like gifting opportunities. And it was also just helpful to like kind of plan upcoming content that I want to make in the next couple of months because I'm trying to make more like planned out, more thorough like videos that maybe require a bit more research or like where I'm giving advice or tips and it requires more preparation obviously than just like a vlog like I'm doing right now which I didn't prepare anything for and then last but not least I also made a timesheet of like the different hours I'm going to be spending working on my internship which I also need to update you guys about. <laughs> I feel like this vlog is going to be a lot of like updates and catching up. But basically in the beginning of the year, I mentioned that one of my goals was to do an editing internship. And I swear I manifested this because literally within a week, I got an answer back for someone who like is looking for an assistant editor. I met up with them and then I had to fill out like a bunch of forms to get it approved so that it would count as a class. I don't know. It's just perfect because I didn't want to take like a boring elective this semester, which is what I was like about to do but luckily now I'm doing an internship and it counts as a class so I'm actually getting like hands-on experience I am just like really grateful that it worked out but yeah I had my first day yesterday and it was honestly very low-key like I don't think I'll have a super strict schedule or anything but the department does require that I like write a report at the end to say like what I learned so I just made this google sheet of like my schedule and like a list of everything that I'm going to be doing every single time I come into work I guess <laughs> and then the last thing I've been doing and I'm still kind of working on was just to update my notion template with all of my new assignment deadlines because my first week of classes was last week and so the syllabuses weren't like fully done but now all of them have been posted and I can just write all of my deadlines into my notion in google calendar and it's kind of time consuming but then at least for the rest of the semester I'm like on track and I know that I'm hopefully not gonna miss any deadlines. That being said, I'm gonna have some lunch right now. I'm also probably gonna make myself a matcha because I am feeling my energy levels kind of start to go down. I'm gonna see what we have in the fridge and hopefully find something to eat. <laughs> Some leftover chicken, a few fries, cauliflower, and then I made some rice to go with the chicken. And there's also some sauce. And then I just made myself a salad to have a few more vegetables. This is why we're just interested in what I was going through personally. I'm so grateful for that because I know a lot of creators have identity crises when... sitting here and recording my video for honestly the past two hours the sun is going to set soon so i'm gonna give myself a break because my brain is feeling pretty tired from just like talking non-stop um luckily i had a matcha because i definitely needed that extra energy i am probably gonna go on a walk i feel like that would be 
really nice and as i said the sun is about to set soon so i want to do that beforehand i've also been sitting literally all day so usually when i'm working from home i like to do some sort of workout or movement but i feel like a walk i don't know sounds really nice right now Ooh, wait i just had such a good idea i feel like i should walk to the library and over there there's a fireplace and i'm gonna bring my book and try to read by the fire because I don't have a fireplace in my house and that honestly sounds really fun. So Loki might try to do that. By the way, this is my setup <laughs> whenever I'm recording like a sit down video. This is my microphone. It's just a blue Yeti microphone. It's actually on right now. And I just have GarageBand open so I can record audio. And I usually also have like my Notion notes here with the video outline. And that's usually where I put my camera. I have my matcha, some water, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So. It's a little behind the scenes for you, but like I said, I'm gonna go for a walk now because my brain needs a break. <laughs> it is freezing. currently 7 30 on the dot and i just got back home as you guys saw i was at the library and i did some reading which was really nice and gave my brain a bit of a break which i think was much needed and now i have like more energy to do some editing which i usually do in the evening anyways one more thing before i get to work is i receive a package and i know what this is and i'm so excited for it so i wanted to wait and open it on camera when this brand asked me if I wanted to receive gifting from them, I was like, of course. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> I love it. Get out of the way. I'm literally so grateful and honored to be receiving this right now because as you may know, I've been using these journals basically since I started journaling like four years ago. I recommend them to everyone. They're like my favorite journal brand. I always butcher their name because it's German. Anyways, when they asked me to pick from their like 2024 colors, I was like, of course. So I got this like bright blue one. Honestly, it's so like vibrant and beautiful. And I even got 2024 engraved at first i thought like maybe i could put my name or like a cute little quote but then i realized i would love to have like a kind of a manifesting journal or like somewhere where i can really just write like affirmations goals and like script my dreams essentially so i think that's what this journal is gonna be for and i also received a pen loop and pen and yeah i got them in the matching color so that they'd fit with the journal but yeah i actually even have like a link and a promo code for you guys if you're based in canada um which is like super exciting because honestly i would promote them regardless so if you guys want to get a discount you can i'll have that in the description i just wanted to unbox that with you guys because it's like so exciting anyways i need to stop talking now and get to work i'm basically just gonna start organizing footage and start editing and yeah currently almost 11 p.m. and since I start classes really early tomorrow I have to wake up at like 
6.45, so I'm gonna get ready for bed right now. It's kind of hard for me, honestly, to stop working in the evening because I usually get really into it and get really inspired. But especially since I start classes early tomorrow, I just want to make sure I get enough sleep and I've been trying my best to just like put my work aside and actually unwind before I go to bed. 